Dear friends, today we want to share with you our presentation at the recently concluded banking conference in Moscow on November 15th as presented by Alexei Petrov and Max Breos. While developing Silent Notary and implementing its features, we encountered a number of difficulties that made us realize that there were dozens of platforms with more than 1,500 assets, but not a single one that meets the requirement of legal significance. So, we decided to address the situation with the fundamental difference being the certainty of intermediate nodes and the ability to select multiple nodes to confirm the transaction. We are born and then die. Our whole life can be represented as a chain of legal relationships that we enter and terminate at some point in time with consequences. Hence, it's important to know the moment of the emergence of legal relationships, their content and the method of their fixation. Since ancient times, people have paid attention to these issues, ranging from clay tablets and ending with EDS. The law has always been a reflection of reality. We bring to your attention a platform, Chain in Law that serves as a reflection of law in the crypto world or, if you like, in the digital world. As you can see in the definition, there is a concept in a legally defined way, which means the members of our system are legally defined. They are no longer just anonymous network nodes or mysterious miners. In the picture below, a fragment of the test network is the location of nodes and the network itself is a sequence of blocks. In the next few slides, I will tell you how our platform operates. For ease of understanding, we divide the platform into four levels. In fact, there are more of them because both the business logic and network have several levels of layers. The principle of level formation is quite simple. You work within the framework of a level, receiving only data from other levels. You cannot interact with objects on a different level. Thanks to this development model, we can always replace any of the levels of the platform without affecting the work below and above the levels. User level. This is how the ordinary users see the platform. The user communicates with it through the application, which in turn sends transactions or requests to the network. Here is an example of several applications. Wallet, Explorer, Silent Notary. To accomplish your business tasks, you will have your own application that communicates with the network. Since the platform is completely open and public, for example, the whole code is on GitHub, we cannot exert any influence on the operation of your applications. In order for your customers to start using the platform, you need to make an application. For our part, we are ready to provide technical assistance. This level is the key difference of our platform. We give users the ability to create their blockchain on our platform, which will work according to the rules specified by the author. No one except the creator can change these rules. It, the blockchain, can be public, corporate, private, or federated consortium. All information that you upload there is public and is available to other participants in the system because everything works in a single address space. Only you or your employees, as well as those to whom you handed the key, can use it, read the information. In general, this is no different from the current situation on the Internet. You also transfer data, but it is encrypted. As a result, we have many independent blockchain that generate blocks and load them into the network. These blocks, generated by different sets of authentication nodes, fall into the network and build a figure, a directed acyclic graph. Why do we need it? Why not just make a chain when the blocks go one after the other? The answer is simple – performance and independence. 
the rate of activation of a block generated by a set of authentication nodes does not depend on the speed of appearance of blocks of other sets. It means that at the moment when the load is large, the graph is branching, and when it falls, the graph collapses into a chain. To study the properties of the graph, we constructed a mathematical model that provides a number of important properties – sustainability and convergence. This is the level at which the platform can be felt with your hands, the level of hardware. We deployed nodes on several types of single board computers and tested their work. So, for users who are not ready to work with their servers, we are prepared to offer a turnkey budget solution. The cost of such a node network ranges from $200 to $500. Thus, we have tried to lower the threshold of entry even for untrained users. Reliability Since your blocks, transactions from your blockchain fall into a general graph, reliability increases because they are intertwined with blocks from other certifying groups. It's no longer possible to change the content of these blocks, even by all nodes of your blockchain. Publicity In the case of a disputable situation, any third party, for example a forensic expert, with the key can verify the essence of the transaction by resolving the dispute. Timestamp you can always identify a transaction with respect to the present moment, since transactions are included in the directed acyclic graph, where time is the direction. It is possible even if you tweak the time on all nodes of your blockchain. Let's briefly summarize the capabilities of the platform. By using it, you create your blockchain according to your tasks with your own rules and the user creating transactions selects it to certify transactions. The user and you can issue tokens, crypto values. In fact, it allows you to keep a history of things and you can create smart contracts. We believe that the result of our work has made it possible to offer a platform for a business adoption, reflecting the needs as flexible as possible. Here are some examples. There are a lot of cases for the platform. I'm sure that several of others will be conceptualized in your head tonight. I will give four of them here, concentrating more on the case from personal banking experience. KYC. The client is identifying once and his key and data, which are stored only for you and the client, are put in correspondence. The client conducts transactions on the network by signing them with his key, remaining completely anonymous for everyone else. The client gives an order to conduct the transaction simply by putting the transaction into the network and signs the transaction with his keys conveniently from any device or region. The bank sees the transaction in the network because it's public, decrypt it, know who made it, and then execute the order. Service of complex transactions, voting, personal experience, fact recording, as and opportunities. Publicity. Our platform has a zero entry threshold. The code is completely public. Flexibility. We offer you to use any business logic to define and create the sets of nodes. Reliability. We use proven algorithms and write code so that there is a backlog for a painless evolution. Legal certainty. We make a legally relevant platform. All transactions in this platform will be legally significant. Thanks for your attention.